Hello friends. Let's play World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Let's pick a full PvP server. Let's make our character. Let's make an undead rogue. Just because they are undead doesn't mean they cannot look fabulous. Am I right? Yeah, that's a sharp dressed undead. And let's pick a name. A real original name. I'm a rogue. Perfect. Let's listen and watch the undead introduction. Bound to the iron will of the tyrant Lich King, the vast undead armies of the Scourge seek to eradicate all life on Azeroth. Led by the banshee Sylvanas Windrunner, a group of renegades broke away from the Scourge and freed themselves of the Lich King's domination. Known by some as the Forsaken, this group fights a constant battle, not only to retain its freedom from the Scourge, but also to slaughter those who would hunt them as monsters. With Sylvanas as their Banshee Queen, the Forsaken have built a dark stronghold beneath the ruins of Lordaeron's former capital city. This hidden undercity forms a sprawling labyrinth that stretches beneath the haunted woods of the Tirisfal Glades. Though the very land is cursed, the zealous humans of the Scarlet Crusade still cling to their scattered holdings, obsessed with eradicating the undead and retaking their homeland. Convinced that the primitive races of the Horde can help them achieve victory over their enemies, the Forsaken have entered an alliance of convenience. Harboring no true loyalty for their new allies, they will go to any lengths to ensure their dark plans come to fruition. As one of the Forsaken, you must massacre any who pose a threat to the new order, human, undead, or otherwise. We hope you liked that Star Wars text crawl opener that took some time to figure out in Hit Film Express. Well, let's get to questing and leveling. We hope you enjoy coming alongside as we start our journey here on our trusty dusty rogue. We start here by leaving the Shadow Grave. Gravekeeper Mordo gives us our first quest and sends us into Death Knell for further tasking and service. Shadow Priest Sarvis is one of the oldest NPCs still in the game. He was around in the alpha version of WoW. Isn't Brill a lovely looking place? Playable undead are also known as the Forsaken. That's what we are here. The Forsaken are former humans that succumb to the Plague of Undeath. The Plague of Undeath was conjured up to create the Scourge. The Forsaken call the Scourge the Mindless Ones. The primary threat to Death Knell is the Scourge. They are clearly inside the wire here in Death Knell and must be dealt with. As such, Sarvis wants us to kill five mindless zombies and five wretched gals. We are burning them down, aren't we? Woot! Ding, level 2. That was fast. We will be level 60 in no time. Haha! Ha. The original sound effect in EverQuest when a character leveled was a ding noise. EverQuest was the original MMORPG and was the predecessor to WoW. Ding is still a common expression players will use to let everyone know they leveled up. An appropriate response to Ding is Gratz. We are looking good aren't we? Novice Elreth wants us to get her six scavenger paws and six dusk bat wings so she can make us some armor. Sarvis is sending us to the rogue trainer here in Death Knell. Nice, our first time selling stuff and cleaning out our bag space. Sarvis also wants us to continue to push back against the scourge in Death Knell by killing eight rattlecage skeletons. 
Sweet, we can train stealth. It doesn't seem to really help us with anything yet, but obviously, it is a hallmark rogue ability. When an enemy is inside the wire, that means you're under serious attack, and they are inside your defensive perimeter. Let's go dispatch the Scourge here to give these fine Forsaken in Death Knell some breathing room. The citizens of Death Knell must fight the Scourge daily to survive. This is the northern part of Death Knell. You can see it is overrun, and its blacksmith forge has been occupied by Scourge. We are clearing it out some by killing these Rattlecage Skeletons. Wretched Gals and Rattlecage Skeletons are former troopers of the Fallen Scourge. We're killing these Dusk Bats to get their wings so the citizens of Death Knell can make us some armor. The Forsaken also use these Scavenger Paws to make the armor. The Scourge was created to be the vanguard for the Burning Legion's attack on Azeroth. The vanguard is the foremost part of an advancing army or naval force. Boom, ding level 3. Looking really good. The Lich King reanimated the undead to serve as mindless pawns in his war against the living. Lady Sylvana's Windrunner wasn't going to have much more of that. So she led the Forsaken to their freedom from the Lich King's Scourge. The Forsaken entered an alliance of convenience with the Orcs and the Taurans for further protection against the Scourge and the Scarlet Crusade. The Forsaken mostly hunger for vengeance and freedom against the Scourge. Do you like questing so fine well? Do you remember Thoughtbot? What a great tool back in the day for questing. This add-on questy is so convenient and is quickly becoming my bestie. Ha ha! It's making questing in this Wrath of the Lich King Classic reboot very nice. Nice like vanilla ice cream. Almost done with these skellies. So death knell, as a noun, means an action or event presaging death or destruction. I suppose the Forsaken are telling you what they intend with heroes coming from here, huh? Subtle, subtle like a brick through a window. Because they have been overrun, citizens of Death Knell have mainly entrenched themselves in the town church. Elreth here now wants us to go get Samuel Phipps' remains and bury them near her friend Marla's grave here in Death Knell. Interestingly, Death Knell is the one city the Forsaken took over and changed its name. The rest of the towns kept the names from when they were occupied by humans. So Death Guard Sultain wants us to scavenge for some boxed goods from in town and bring them back to him. Executor Aaron here leads those willing to fight the Scourge and Scarlet Crusade from Death Knell. First, he wants us to go into the gold mine north of Death Knell to kill eight young night web spiders and five night web spiders. So the rogue trainer here is named David Triers. We wonder if he is related to the rogue trainers in Stormwind that have the same last name. Triers. Interesting. So the citizens of Death Knell struggle to obtain basic resources to survive. That's why they have sent us here to scavenge for them. We remember back in the day you would have dozens of people on these quests, and trying to find these goods was truly like scavenging. It's kind of easier now since it is just us and all these goods spawning. 
And didn't the mobs here all used to be red? They are yellow now so they are neutral, meaning they don't attack us unless we attack them first. Kind of nice. We got all the goodies, so to speak. Let's head down and get this Samuel Phipps guy's remains now. Samuel Phipps is a reference to the lead singer Sam Phipps from the band Oingo Boingo. His fellow band mates Daniel Ulfman, Carol Graves, and Stephen Bartek stand around him. Their character names are Danny Elfman, Carl Graves, and Steve Bartek. Definitely too close to be coincidental. I guess we're doing the opposite of getting the band back together. Replaying WoW after decades is fun. It was a tight game wasn't it? So Oingo Boingo was an American rock band. They were best known for their hit song Dead Man's Party. Although their song missed the charts when it was released in 1986, it was a cult classic. And eventually because the unofficial anthem of Halloween in the United States and beyond. So World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King was released on November 13, 2008. Bada bing bada boom. Ding level 4. We're moving on up. In April of 2008 it was estimated that WoW held 62% of the MMORPG subscription market. They were the undisputed kings of the gaming market. Wrath of the Lich King sold 2.8 million copies in 24 hours, making it the fastest selling game of all time. Do you remember playing it on release? It was pretty wild. The biggest grossing movie in 2008 was The Dark Knight. That's the one with Harvey Dent. Speaking of scary things and caves, this is the gold mine in Death Nell. It has been overrun by spiders obviously. And the citizens of Death Nell can't work to harvest resources they need to survive. Death Nell's youth test their strength here. And they explore the gold mine to uncover its dusty secrets. Well, we're done here. You know, here's an idea, as original as our name, maybe while one of the Death Nell youths are up in that mine exploring, one of them will get bit by a spider. And after they are bit, wait for it, they turn into a superhero. We bet that would be a good movie plot. Speaking of good superhero movies, the second highest grossing film in 2008 was Iron Man. Interestingly, it had to do with Caves 2 if we remember correctly. Let's put our friend Sammy P.S. remains in place. You know what I'm saying. No ragrets. It looks like Death Guard Sultane is done with us for now. Executor Aaron wants us to continue the fight and press on by turning our attention to the Scarlet Crusade in the area. He wants us to bring him 12 Scarlet armbands. Looks like Elreth and everyone else in the church here is done with us for now too. How are we still at one silver? Laughing out loud, this is going to be real. Oh nice, backstab and pickpocket, ha ha. And we are down to 58 copper. More money more problems. Said no one ever back in the world of Warcraft. So the humans of the Scarlet Crusade are obsessed with eradicating all the undead from their land. This means the Scourge and us, the Forsaken. Let's try pickpocket out. Pro tip, we guess it helps if you actually put the stealth abilities on the stealth bar. Naturally, the Forsaken are also at war with those who would hunt them down as monsters. Sounds kind of like the storyline to Shrek, just a big, adorable misunderstood ogre trying to live, and let live in a human world trying to bring him down. Let's burn these guys down now. My gosh, want to buy kick laughing out loud, they are just free casting on us. The Scarlet Crusade is the second most pressing threat to the citizens of Death Knell. You will notice the humans speak gibberish. 
That is because the Forsaken language is gutter speak and can't understand Alliance. They can't understand us either. The Forsaken can understand the other Horde races. This merry band of Scarlet Crusaders is here to attack Death Knell. We must strike first, strike hard, and have no mercy. Hey, it's late, leave tips, we'll be here all night. Bang bang. Level 5. Didn't these mobs used to be red too? They are yellow now. That makes this quest super easy. Man we are looking good. You know, speaking of bands again. The number one Billboard song in 2008 was Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis. Do you remember that song? It was pretty catchy. The number two song was I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry. And the number three song was Low by Florida and T-Pain. We are rocking these mobs. Speaking of rock, for those of you of the rock persuasion, the number one song in 2008 was Use Somebody by Kings of Leon. My gosh, is that considered rock? What in the world do we like then haha? Ha. The number two rock song in 2008 was Psycho by Puddle of Mud. And the number three song was Inside the Fire by Disturbed. Those seem to have more backbone in our opinion at least, how about yours? Nice, we are almost done with these scarlet armbands now. In January of 2008 we are past the 10 million subscriber mark. That's insane. Let's go turn all these quests in. We swear that Bush over there had some eyes that were flashing at us. Did you all see that? Now Aaron wants us to take the fight to the head honcho for the Scarlet Crusade in the area. He wants us to kill Mevan Korgel. He is a Scarlet Crusade spy, spying on the citizens of Death Knell. He's a snitch, and snitches get sticks. And they swim with the fishes. That's pretty much in your face, Mevan. We'll take those documents fine, sir. Thank you very much. We think this will be what leads us to our next questing area, Brill. Yep, we're 100% sure of it, that bush over there had eyes blinking at us. Creepy, but cool. Nice, Executor Aaron is now telling us to establish contact with his superior in Brill. That's none other than Executor Zygand. Looks like the rogue trainer here is done with us now too. Let's clear the Olay bag spaces up some, and make some coin too. Well, we did good with the starter quests didn't we, what do you think? The storyline seems super tight, and fun. You will notice that animals in WoW also attack other animals from time to time. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Like in The Lion King, it's the circle of life. Keep on rocking in the free world Sammy P. So we are leaving Death Knell here in Western Tirisful Glades. And we will be heading to Brill which is smack dab in the center of the Glades. Calvin Montague is a nice connecting character for Death Knell to Brill. He wants us to take this letter from him to Brill, he says he'll pay us later. Calvin Montague shares the last name of the four bankers in the center of the Undercity. Even more interesting and neat, they are all names of bankers that Shakespeare has in his various works. Death Guard Simmer here wants us to head west to the Solidan farm and steal ten pumpkins and take them back to Brill. We will do that later after we pick up other quests, so we can do one nice big quest loop. Perhaps Calvin Montague was the name of a brogue backer in a Willie Shakes play. Speaking of poets, we always liked Gordo. He had some good quotes, didn't he? Simmer say Gordo got guts, but got no brains. Why he mean? 
or gordo like picking flowers. Pick flowers kind of like killing. Maybe Gordo was a poet and just didn't know it. See what we did there. Unrelated. But Gordo means fat in Spanish. Gordo wants us to pick three gloom weed and take them to Apothecary Holland in Brill. We'll do that as part of our next quest loop too. Death Guard Dillinger here wants us to bring him seven putrid claws because they are encroaching on the citizens of Brill. This is Executor Zygand. He directs the fight against the Scourge and Scarlet Crusade here in Brill. He wants us to kill ten Scarlet Warriors to the west near Solidan Farm. Oh sweet. Wanted posters. This one is for Maggot Eye. Maggot Eye is kind of like Hogger, except he hides behind guards. These skeletal charges are so cool. They are the Forsaken's mounts of choice. We'll have ours soon hopefully. This is Magistrate Severin. He wants us to give some attention to the Rothide Knolls that are to the north of Brill. He wants us to kill Rothide grave robbers and mongrels to get eight embalming ikers that give them life. Innkeeper Rene here was once an experienced captain in the Scarlet Crusade. She was a fierce warrior. Man, our next questing loop here in Brill is shaping up nicely, don't you think? Our character is looking good at level 5. For the Horde, 